dar buena pelea por siempre. He says, thank you all for being here. Uh, I really appreciate this opportunity for this fight. And uh, I'm going to do my best in the fight. Okay? So we'll open it to questions. John, you'll, you'll decide yeah. to... Uh, question, question. Okay, if you have a question, just questions. Raise, your, raise your hand. Okay. We'll, we'll go. Go ahead, right here. Uh, do you feel that uh, winning this fight will set you up as a, a future opponent for the winner of the if Floyd Mayweather wins that fight, a fight at Walter Ray against Floyd Mayweather? Do you feel that winning this fight will set you up as a future opponent for the winner of the if Floyd Mayweather wins that fight, a fight at Walter Ray against Floyd Mayweather? Yes, of course. It's a, it's an important fight. It's an important fight, and uh, I know that winning this fight is going to open up the doors. So uh, I'm taking this fight seriously, and uh, hopefully a future fight with Floyd Mayweather. Yes, of course. Kevin. Eric, uh, is there any animosity with Danny Garcia over how long it took to get the fight made? Is this? Is this? Is this? Si hay alguna este desentimiento, coraje con Dani García, ¿por qué tomó tanto para aceptar la pelea Dani? No, no, la verdad que se hizo esperar demasiado, pero bueno, muy contento que ya se ha cerrado la pelea y que ahora el próximo 14 de septiembre no vamos a estar no, no animosity whatsoever. Yeah, I was a little disappointed it took so long, but I'm happy it finally got done. And uh, on the 14th, we're going to meet each other up in the ring. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll speak louder. Okay. Lucas, the question the question is uh, styles make fights it's a saying in boxing is Danny's does this suit you his style suit you la verdad que si un peleador que viene al frente como yo así que va a ser una muy buena pelea donde lo vamos a Yes, definitely. I, I feel that his style suits me. He's a fighter that's aggressive and cut, comes forward, and uh, just like I do. And I like that. And I think we're gonna we're gonna beat each other up. Okay. Lucas, se habla de que la audiencia puede llegar a ser récord tanto por lo de la televisión como por la gente que va a estar ahí. ¿Qué te genera pelear ante tantos ojos, ante tanta gente? Okay. The, the, question, the question is, you know, there's a lot of talk about this fight. Uh, all the interest, it could break records, uh, not only the people, the live gate, but obviously people watching on television. Uh, do you feel any pressure or how do you feel about that? Sé que es un evento muy grande y la verdad que sé que va a haber muchísima gente, muchísima gente que va a estar mirando y la verdad que para mí es un orgullo estar en esa velada y que toda la gente va a poder observar mi boxeo. He said it's an honor, it's an honor to be, you know, in front of a big stage. I know that there's going to be a lot of interest in this fight. And uh, I'm just happy and it's an honor to be in this big stage and that uh, the people are going to be able to see my style of fighting. So why don't you ask him, just skip, ask him why is he in California now and what is his plans for the next couple of weeks leading up to fight week in Vegas? La decisión de llegar a California temprano, estar aquí temprano, ¿cómo te sientes en eso? ¿Y qué son los planes de, desde hoy hacia, hasta la pelea? Sí, bueno, faltan 25 días casi para la pelea y la verdad que vamos a terminar la, la preparación acá, eh, vamos a terminar los sparring, eh, me siento muy bien y para adaptarme bien al clima y a todo. You know, it's, it's more than anything to get used to the climate. Uh, there's about 20, 25 days to the fight. I'm going to finish up my sparring here. It's the last phase of training and uh, just to get used to the, the, the difference in the, the climate. So exactly. What does he think about the Mayweather Canelo fight? And how does he feel about being a big celebrity now? He just looks around and sees all the cameras. <laughs> este, ¿qué, ¿Qué piensas de la pelea de Canel, a Canelo contra Mayweather? ¿Y qué se siente ser un estrella? Ya ves toda esta gente, toda la interés que tiene. Ok. Eh, no, una pelea muy importante, la de Mayweather con, con Canelo. La verdad que va a ser una pelea muy buena. Eh, la verdad que bueno, me siento bien, cómodo, eh, muy agradecido a toda la gente que vino a, a verme y a recibirme. 
desde el primer momento que pisé Estados Unidos la gente me ha tenido muy bien. He said that the fight with Mayweather and Canelo is obviously a big fight. It's a very, very important fight. And, uh, you know, as far as his celebrity, he feels good. You know, he says, look, uh, it's, it's, it's an honor to be in this position. I feel very, very good and gracious for all this uh, attention I'm getting. But, uh, you know, I felt good since the first time I came to the United States. I've had a lot of support. So, um, okay, he was on the wrong end of two controversial fights. It seems that he started faster in most recent fights. Obviamente tienes dos derrotas y este fueron este obviamente controversiales eh, y las últimas peleas han empezado un poco más pronto, más rápido. Esa fue la razón. Aprendiste de esas derrotas. Eh, fueron experiencia muy buena y creo que sí un poco me ayudaron para eh, para después salir a con otra mentalidad en las peleas, pero bueno, el trabajo de, la, de las preparaciones son muy buenos, así que eso un poco también tiene mucho que ver. You know, those two fights that I lost were, they were an experience. I learned from those fights. It was an experience, and yes, I learned from them, and uh, obviously, you know, I come out a little faster now, not just because of that, but because of the preparation, I just have a little different preparation now. Okay. Um, when you, when you fought Lamont Peterson in Atlantic City, you were kind of considered the underdog. So, how are you coping with this newfound attention and hype that you have around? Is there any pressure? Este, cuando peleaste con Lamont Peterson, muchos pensaron que iba a ganar Lamont, y este, obviamente lo derrotaste. Si ahora tú tienes toda la atención, es una presión para ti tener toda esta atención. No, yo igual, la verdad que pensé que iba a ser una pelea muy dura, que más de uno me acaba de perder, pero la verdad que. Eh, metimos el corazón como siempre, ganamos y la verdad que no, ahora me siento muy cómodo, eh, ya me estoy acostumbrando un poco a esto. No, no, obviamente, you know, I knew it was going to be a tough fight with Lamont, and uh, thank God I won, I won the fight, I did good, and uh, I'm starting to get used to all this attention, I'm starting to get used to it. Right there. Guys, guys okay. love to, uh, sometimes they've gotten fighters provoked to try to play mind games, so I was thinking. Obviamente en el pasado la gente, el equipo de Dani García se tratan de meter en la cabeza de un peleador eh, con comentarios que hacen y todo eso. ¿Cómo te sientes ahorita de los comentarios que han, han hecho? Bien. Se ve que están preocupados por eso hablan mucho. It shows that they're worried. That's why they're talking so much. Lucas, ¿qué está pasando en Argentina? Tenemos a Maidana, Martínez. The question, the, que, the question is, you know, Argentina is going through a very good moment right now. You have Maravilla Martinez, you have Maidana, and you. So talk a little bit about what's going on in Argentina right now with boxing. Que hay en el agua? ¿Qué están comiendo? Los argentinos entrenamos con buen corazón y creo que han salido buenos peleadores hace unos años y la verdad que yo estoy muy contento de, de levantar el boxeo argentino tanto como Maidana, Martínez, Omar Narváez, Rebeco y un montón de peleadores argentinos que, que día a día estamos levantando el boxeo argentino. No, I feel I feel good. It's an honor, you know. Obviously, we're going through a good moment right now, and all we do is, you know, we train hard. We train hard and we use our heart in training and in our fights, and it's 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 an honor. It's an honor to be fighting in this era and. You know the what's going on with the Argentinian boxing, and uh, for a while now, for a while now, there's been very, very good boxers. You mentioned some of the names right now as well. Hace diez años, hace diez años te gusta ese chico, en el mar, gimnasio municipal en Perú. Has pasado por muchas cosas. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre este chico y el hombre de hoy? ¿Qué piensas tú que te ha dado la mayor fortaleza? You you they you debuted about ten years ago, and you're and the, the the town you're from in a small place. And it's been 10 years now, and obviously now you're in a different position. What's the difference now than that young kid that first debuted? Eh, sí, fui creciendo y creo que a medida que van pasando las peleas, uno va creciendo, se va plomando más el ring. Eh, y experiencia que uno va tomando con la vida y con el gimnasio, en los viajes, la verdad que eso te va haciendo fuerte y, y te va haciendo crecer día a día. I grew, I grew, you know, mentally, physically, and uh, I grew and uh, you learn. You learn from the fights, and not only the fights, but you also learn traveling. And I've learned so much and I've gained experience, and that's the difference.
being yeah, that. He recently it came out that he's uh, starting to score Timothy Bradley. Stylistically, he's not the exact matchup that you would want for Danny Garcia. What do you see in uh, Timothy Bradley that you guys feel would be beneficial for the fight coming up? Obviamente, hay rumores que posiblemente vas a entrenar con Timothy Bradley. Este, él no tiene el estilo como Danny Garcia, pero qué cualidades tiene él que te puedan ayudar para la pelea. Eh, la velocidad, creo que tiene muy buena velocidad y, y creo que ahí va a estar la ayuda de él. The speed, the speed, the speed and uh, the experience. You know, obviously he's got very good speed and uh, that's going to help a lot. Being that, if you, if you that. Fight, uh, would you want to go on and fight Marcos Maidana in Argentina? Si ganas esta pelea, te gustaría una gran pelea con el chino Maidana en Argentina? No, quiero otra cosa. <laughs> no, I want to fight here. I want bigger things here. ¿Qué es lo que más te preocupa de Garcia? What What worries you the most about Danny Garcia? Eh, no nada. Me entrené muy bien y estoy preparado para todo. No, nothing worries me. I train very I train very hard and I'm ready for anything. ¿Estás preparado para los 12 rounds? Sí, son. Para 15. Are you ready for 12 rounds? He said I'm ready for 15. Being that this is. ¿Te te preocupa su movimiento, cómo se mueve él? No, no es un buen boxeador tampoco. No, he's not a very good boxer either. Estoy bien preparado y creo que esa es la confianza que tengo. I'm very well prepared and that's what gives me confidence. Being that this is the fight. ¿Por qué decidiste no ir a Filadelfia? Eh, there is talk, there is talks about a tour. Why, why did you decide not to go to Philadelphia? Porque me cortaban toda la parte, mi preparación fuerte, me la cortaban y. Y ese fue el motivo nada más que no quise viajar porque me cortaban todo todo el entrenamiento. It was going to interfere with my preparation and that's basically it. My preparation is important and it was going to interfere with my preparation. Eric, can you ask him if this fight turns into a war? Does that benefit him more? Does he actually want thing uh, Danny Garcia to engage him? Este si esta pelea se vuelve en una guerra, en una guerra, este te va a beneficiar a ti. Eh, es lo que tú quieres que Danny te ataque. No, no, yo ojalá, ojalá que ataque, sé que los dos vamos a ir al choque y que va a ser una gran pelea. Hopefully, hopefully it comes towards me, but you know, it doesn't really matter, but you know, I have a feeling we're both going to be aggressive and it's going to be a great fight. Does he feel that his chin has been tested before, Danny has a real good look, that's what he's known for. Does he feel like his chin has been tested before he can take his punch? Danny obviamente tiene un buen golpe, tiene un buen left hook. Gancho. Es un gancho de izquierda. Este... ¿Tú crees suficiente que tú puedes este, aguantar eso? Que te han, en otras peleas te han tocado y puedes aguantar. Sí, me han pegado y aguantado y sí estoy preparado para todo. Si me caigo me voy a levantar. Yes, yes, I think I can, I can take it. I've been, hit, I've been hit before. I was able to withstand it. And, and if Danny drops me, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get up. His nickname is the machine. What does he think about it? Este te llaman la máquina, the machine. ¿Qué piensas de eso? Eh, no, si le gusta a usted, está todo bien. If you guys, if you guys like it, I'm fine with it. Mucha, mucha gente habla de tu poder noqueador. ¿Qué otras armas tienes para enfrentar a, a Dani García? Eh, se boxea muy bien. They say, his question was, you know, a lot of people talk about your power. Uh, what other qualities do you have? And he says, well, I know how to box very well as well. Does he Me feel not, that not, uh, not enough people give respect to his boxing ability? And that even Danny and his dad are overlooking his boxing ability? ¿Tú crees que mucha gente este, no te dan crédito porque tú sabes boxear? Eh, y que, que también el equipo de Danny este, están pensando que no puedes boxear? Claro, no, sí, seguro. Eh, no me han visto boxear todavía. Siempre me, me han visto ir al frente porque mis rivales los tengo que salir corriendo. Pero ojalá que venga para, para poder mostrar otras cosas. I haven't really showed my boxing. And it's not my fault, it's just that my opponents run for me. So I have to go after them. But, uh, you know, I know how to box. Being that this is the biggest fight that could be made in this division, uh, if you get past this opponent, is there really anything left for you at 140 pounds? Or is the idea to, at that point, move up and wait and, and esta, search esta, for new challenges? Esta pelea es la, la más grande de la división. La más grande que se puede hacer. Después de ganar esta pelea, ¿qué más se puede hacer en esta división? Este, ¿Te gustaría quedarte o subirte? Eh, depende de lo que me diga Golden Boy. Depending on uh, what Golden Boy says. Yeah, there's no secret. There's no secret. You have to be in good condition, and 
When you get hit, you gotta be in good, good, in good condition. Aquí tiene récord, 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 récord. Okay. Sé que todos los, todos los boxeadores quieren noquear siempre, pero ¿qué tan benéfico ha sido para tu boxeo terminar to, to, tantas peleas por nocaut eh, eh, últimamente? Hey, um, the question is, obviously everybody wants a knockout, but uh, you know, the last few fights you've been knocking out early. Is, is that detrimental or how do you feel about that? Eh, me ha dado confianza y tranquilidad. Eh, yo siempre me entrené para, lo, para los rounds que tenga que pelear y, y las peleas se terminaban antes. No, no es que yo salía a buscarlo, sino que se terminaban antes. Pero siempre estaba preparado para, para mucho más. It's given me, it's given me a, a lot of confidence, being able to finish my fights early. I don't train that way. I train to box and to go the rounds that I, I'm supposed to go. But I don't look for the knockout and it comes and uh, it's just it's giving me a great deal of confidence. Lucas. Right here, right here. Okay. Then you're next. Okay. Go ahead. Um, what weaknesses do you feel that Danny Garcia has with his fighting style? Este, que este, las debilidades de Danny Garcia que tú ves. Sí, sí, algunas. No las puedo decir. There's there's a few, but I don't want to reveal my, my uh, Secrets. Okay, right here. Lucas, esto, tú tienes muchos nuevos fanáticos, pero la fanaticada tuya de Argentina obviamente es muy lejos. ¿Te gustaría regresar en un futuro no muy lejano para poder pelear al frente de tu, de tu gente? Y segundo, uh, ¿te ha sorprendido de la manera, de la, que, de la, de la forma que la gente te han, te han aceptado y te, te tienen tan, tan arriba ahora? La pregunta es, la pregunta es, la pregunta es, you have a lot of fans, obviously, and, uh, but a lot of your fans in Argentina are so far away, would you like to some they go back and fight over there. And then the second question is... Um, are you surprised? Yeah, yeah, are you surprised? Are you surprised by all the fans you have now? Eh, sí, me gustaría volver a pelear en Argentina. Hace unos varios años que no peleo. Eh, la verdad que toda la gente allá está muy, muy pendiente a mi carrera. Eh, siempre están preguntando a través del Facebook. Eh, están todos muy atentos y, y la gente sí, me ha sorprendido mucho el apoyo de todos los latinos y de todo el mundo, la verdad que, que me han dado el apoyo y me han dado el reconocimiento que, que hace rato ¿no? de las peleas que vengo haciendo. Yes, I would love to fight once again in Argentina. I get people coming and asking, when can I fight there again? It's been a while since I fought there and someday I would like to go back and fight in Argentina. And yes, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised by you know, all the people that started following me, you know, all the Latin people. Uh, other Latinos, they come on, you know, and they give me support and love, and uh, it feels great. Hey, Lucas, okay, so we also heard that there were issues going up to the fight with um, you being in Argentina with the proper test that you guys agreed upon. Um, were you tested in Argentina, or have you been tested since you've been in the United States? And have you heard that Danny Garcia himself was tested as well? Habían, habían rumores de, de que habían problemas de ser el doping en, en Argentina. Este, te, ha, ¿Te han hecho las pruebas de doping allá? Yes, twice. I got tested twice already. I've never had any problems whatsoever with that. And uh, you know if you know I don't know if they've done anything with that. I don't know. Just to, just to go back. A couple so more questions and that'll be all, eh? Okay. Just to, look, so he's training with Tim Bradley. Is he training in Palm Springs in the desert? Is that what he means by being acclimated to... Yes, yes. Yes, estás, vas, a, vas a entrenar en el desierto como, como es Las Vegas y para que te eso te va a hacer acostumbrarte a, sí. al clima. Sí, sí, tengo unos cuantos días para, para aclimatarme y la verdad que, que me hace muy bien. Yes, it's going to help very well. You know, it's, I'm going to have a few days so I can get acclimated. And uh, yes, it's very similar to Las Vegas, obviously. Did Timmy give him any sort of advice or comment to him about uh, Danny? He hasn't seen Timmy. He hasn't seen no, he hasn't seen Timmy. Lucas, si tuvieras que resumir brevemente lo que significa esta pelea para ti. If you can say something real quick, uh, one statement about what this fight yeah. Yeah. signifies to you. Thank you. This is the fight of my life and I'm going to take advantage of it. Todos también? Yes. Este se habla de una posible pelea de Broner con Maidana. Este, ¿Tú piensas que puede ganar Maidana y qué es lo que tendría que hacer Maidana para ganar esa pelea? Eh, sí, creo que, que va a ganar Maidana y yes, I feel easy to win. le van a doler los golpes. Que, le van a doler los golpes. Y <laughs> <laughs> <and, and> <laughs> va a feel Maidana's punches y van a hurt. ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? Ok, everyone. Gracias por